Knowing the amount of voltage in a circuit is very important and a great tool for uh, looking up the voltage is the multimeter. Now this multimeter is an auto ranging meter. All I have to do is set it here to voltage and it does the rest. I just have to make sure I don't put more voltage uh, to the probes than the meter is rated for. Other than that it takes care of everything else. So now the other end of the probes here they plug in to the meter and there's usually a high amperage side and then the other side that does all the other measurements and that's definitely the case with this meter so I'm gonna put the positive uh, probe into there now the black probe is usually put into a slot called COM it just says COM and that's generally where it stays so now one of the main uses of the multimeter is checking the power source in this case the battery we want to make sure the battery is good so we want to make the right polarity if possible luckily these meters are made these digital ones are usually made so if you accidentally put it backwards you just get a negative reading but here you can see this battery has a little bit less than 9 volts 8.83 .8 volts and it's rated for 9 volts so that's uh, definitely acceptable but this one you see is almost 9.7 volts 9.68 volts this is a brand new battery I just took it out of the packaging I've been using this other battery for a while but it's still pretty good if it was getting down towards the 7 volts or whatever you know I may decide it's time to get a new battery depending on how it's affecting my circuits but uh, if you have a problem with your circuits definitely checking the battery voltage is a good idea so now another nice thing about the uh, voltmeter in this case it's a multimeter but uh, has a voltmeter in it you can measure the battery well it's part of the circuit that's the nice thing about uh, voltage you can measure a bunch of stuff while it's still in the circuit I'll show you that uh, later but uh, here I have a schematic this is the symbol for the voltmeter this is a symbol for an ammeter I'll uh, go over that in another video and here's a symbol for the ohm meter to measure resistance again that's another video but as I said as you can see here I can take a measurement while it's part of a circuit I just have to connect to the two ends where they uh, head to the battery this one heads directly to positive and this one heads directly to negative so now for the final part of this video I removed the switch from the circuit I just have the resistor connected directly to positive and that's to show you don't have to limit yourself to measuring voltage uh, directly to the battery like this here I'm going to take a measurement in the middle of the circuit and now you see we got about two volts so from this point to here there's about two volts we formed a voltage divider that's a future topic but as you can see you can measure multiple points in a circuit and uh, this is a simple circuit that's not many points to measure but uh, you don't have to limit yourself just remember the negative always goes to ground for the most part and then when you make your measurements you do that with the positive side you can do it over here this is basically connecting the battery or move it closer to ground and you'll get a voltage drop in this case we got seven volts dropped 